In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install new Squarespace templates, and I'm also going to give you an overview of the different themes and the functionalities, and to try to give you a little baseline on choosing your theme and what direction you want to go. Now you can switch your theme at any time down the line, so there's absolutely no worry there. Uh, but the theme that you choose is going to make a really big difference in terms of the functionality and the look and the feel of your website. So I'll explain that all. I'm going to go through and demo a few of my favorite themes for you guys. So to start off, we're going to go down here and click on Design. After we click Design, we're going to click on Template. And once we click on Template, we're going to click Install New Template. And this is going to bring you right back to that first screen that we saw when we signed up for our Squarespace account. And it's going to show you again all of the different themes that Squarespace has here, which there is a lot to choose from, more than I can explain probably in this course, but I will show you a few of my favorites. Um, so to start off, actually one of the first ones up here is a new theme from Squarespace called Shift. And uh, what I'm going to do is just show you, if you click on any of these themes and you click View, it's going to let you kind of actually kind of get to see the site, a little demo of it. Um, this is a new template, so there's not many examples. But uh, other sites will actually have a lot of client sites, or not client, but uh, customers' websites that have, are used on that same template. And those are really cool to get an idea for what the overall look and feel of this is versus just looking at the example site that they give you. So again, if we click, click uh, View Live Demo, and then uh, I always recommend just clicking this link so you can see it full screen. But what it's going to do is basically open up the site that they have right here. This is kind of a demo site that they have built for you. And what you're going to see is up here on the left we have the logo. Uh, you have items like the navigation up here. You have this call to action with some subtext and a button. Uh, this is actually a big feature of the theme. Um, it's in a handful of sites, um, but Bedford and Shift are two themes that are really defined by these big pictures with the kind of two lines of text and the button. So again, this is actually kind of part of the theme that you're seeing right there with how this looks. Uh, coming down here, you can kind of start to get a little feel for it. Uh, you see that this theme, theme has this kind of parallax effect over these images. Um, and so you can see, again, all this kind of stuff and some of the features and functionalities. Now, the text color, the font, the button colors, the photos, I mean, all that stuff can be customizable. But what you really look for when you're looking at a theme are what are these functions that are happening. And so again, on these, you kind of see they have these basic um, sliders here where you can kind of have a little bit of text and then about where you click in and learn more. So again, very cool site, uh, very cool template. This one and Bedford is another template. They're very similar, and I highly recommend them. We'll come back here, and we're going to go click X out of that. And we're going to come right back into install a new template. And we're going to take a look at some of the other themes here. So Horizon is another new template from Squarespace. But a very cool template, and I'll show you a bit why. If you click on Horizon, again, we're going to come over here to the live preview. Oh, and on this one, they actually do have some example sites from clients, so you can kind of click through these and take a look at these example sites and some of these are really really great to kind of give you an idea of the functionalities and what can be done with the theme. Um, you know, you'll, you'll, if you look at enough of them you'll start to see some of the similarities in how they function, how the navigation of the different features work. On this again we're going to go to live preview. We're going to again click on this one so I can just see it full screen. And here again, we have this kind of basic navigation over the top. We have these huge images in the background. We have text with a button and then a buy on iTunes. 
Uh, as we come down, we start to see just, you know, again, some of the features and how text looks. Uh, we see these touring options right here. And some of the really cool things about this theme is it allows you to actually build full pages on top of images. Uh, with the Bedford and Shift theme that we were just looking at, you really, theme only works so that you can only have really like a headline in a sentence or two on your image. But with Horizon, you actually have this ability. It's a, it's a more advanced theme. It's harder to work with. But you can actually build entire sections or entire pages of your site on top of a background like this and have this vertical stacked effect. Uh, so again, very cool template. Highly recommended it. Recommended. It's a bit more advanced, but you can get a really cool feel with it. And if you have good photography, this is a phenomenal theme for you. So we're going to X out of this. Come on back here. And again, click Install a New Template. Brings me right back to this page. Uh, adversary, uh, I'm not going to actually go all the way into this one, but another very similar theme to Bedford and the and Shift. Uh, it's got that same similar big text and a call to action button, uh, but this one does have some other functions and looks, so I recommend checking into this one as well. Let's see, we're going to come down to a few others. Uh, Hayden, another one very similar to Bedford and uh, to Shift and all those and Adversary that I just mentioned. Um, you're going to see this a lot where you have these different, um, basically two different font sizes and a call to action. And Squarespace does this a lot across a lot of their themes. It's kind of good practice in web design. And uh, it's, a, it's a feature that they have on a lot of them. So again, this one has that similar, Hayden has that similar kind of look and feel as well. I'll click back to all designs. And we're going to come down and um, five. So this is one of the oldest themes in Squarespace. And probably one of my favorites. I uh, actually build my personal website on this. And I've probably built more client sites on five as well. It is a very simple theme, and it's also really powerful because it's probably the theme that is closest to what you would think of when you think of a standard blog. Uh, you, it's a very typical, you know, you have your basic navigation up here, you have your logo, your navigation, navigation across the side, you have your social media icons right here, and then you have these big banner images, and you have the content right here. Uh, another real big benefit and something to look out for in your themes is that not all themes have a sidebar on the blog. Some of the themes have kind of full page blogging, um, but Five has a sidebar on the blog, which is a really powerful feature. And probably if, if, if your main focus of this website is to build a blog, uh, Five can be a really, really good template to go with. Again, I run it on my personal website and I, I absolutely love this theme. Uh, it's really, really versatile. So we're going to exit out of that, go back, and I'll cover a few more before moving on to some other content. Come down here, Marquee. This is another really cool theme, again, one of the probably more popular themes on Squarespace. Um, but what makes this so great is the parallax functionality. And I'll show you that real quick and what I'm talking about when I say the fancy word, parallax. Um, but when I say that, basically you see how the image kind of moves slowly as you scroll and reveals and unveils different parts of the image. Uh, that's called parallax. And this theme does that really, really well. Uh, it's very, very robust and probably one of the most popular themes on Squarespace. Not saying that's a bad thing, it's still, again, all of this can be customized, the fonts, the photos, the colors, everything can be customized. So you can really build this into the site that you want it to be. So we're going to come back again, and I'll walk you through the last few. I feel like I just keep getting to the end, but there's so many good templates that it's just it's hard for me to decide. Uh, Wexley is a cool one for, say, photography or design portfolios. We have Dovetail, another one very similar to Five with a few different functionalities. 
uh, but a very cool site, and I really like this one. This is uh, next to five, probably the site that I build more client sites on than anything else. We're going to come down, and here is Bedford that I mentioned. And that is really, you know, you just kind of got a taste of my favorite sites on our themes on Squarespace. So, again, that's not saying that any of these other ones are bad. Um, they all have really cool things. Some of these are actually you know, very different in the look and feel. Again, Aviator is actually a completely different look and feel than any of those that I showed you. Supply, again, a very interesting one with a side navigation. Uh, there's just so much, so you really just have to kind of play around with them. Um, my hopes are this video kind of showed you some of the differences within themes and also just kind of gave you um, kind of some criteria to uh, evaluate them at, against as you start to choose your own theme. But again, don't worry, you can change your theme at any time, so it's not a huge deal if you don't like the theme or you get into it and it's just not looking how you want. You can always change the theme and it'll bring all that content over with you at any time.